so hi viewers thanks for watching my previous video and um, this is again uh, another simple VBA code with some very simple very basic VBA features uh, that's the way I am building this code up I am starting from very very basic and then we are we will go uh, and learn some advanced and technical features in VBA this is the easier way to learn instead of going all the way up to buttons combo boxes and check boxes and etc etc start learning some programming basics and then build your knowledge on that what we did in our previous uh, uh, video we used the username property and displays a message on the screen and uh, we assume that uh, in your work environment whoever opens the computer in your team uh, they have their own name mentioned in this box so this is a shared document and whoever opens the file will display their own message instead of your name and the system will say good morning good evening or good afternoon based on the time so uh, right now it's like five o'clock half by half past five so it should say uh, good evening and then the username over here so let's see if this is happening over here. this is just a revision of, of our uh, previous video and then we will start doing the next lecture today yes good evening James Bond okay that's fine now so for example this is uh, a customer satisfaction uh, report uh, of all different stores these are the stores locations these are store managers and these are the points based on different uh, different elements and what we want to do we want whenever a store manager opens this file up the system will display good morning good evening or good uh, afternoon and the store name plus the excel will take him directly to his name like for example over here instead of store manager look for his name in the list so we are going to use excel to guide us where we want to go let's see if we can do this one using excel vba so now let's go to Excel VBA and then we go to developer and then visual basic and we can see this is this was the code we used to display that message uh, good morning good evening and good afternoon and remember we are just using this workbook and uh, one event that is workbook opening event nothing else because we don't want to get complicated in the very beginning of our visual basic just start with very very basic things now let's see if we if we can just uh, ask Excel to go to a particular cell what property we are going to use we are going to use sheet one or whatever dot cells this is what we use uh, to locate a particular cell in uh, visual in Excel and the row index for example whatever the row is and the column index whatever the column is dot activate by using this we are forcing Excel to move the cell or to get this particular cell in focus okay so in this example we want Excel to go to directly B5 whenever the manager opens the file what we are going to use we are going to use a loop for count is equal to 1 to 15 we know there are 15 stores for example so if sheet 1 dot cells count and the store username is in column 2 so column are not defined as a b c d E, F, G, rather A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3, and D is equal to 4, and so on. What we are doing here, we are controlling the row number by this counter loop, and 2, the column number is a constant, is equal to the username. Then okay so username is equal to application dot username so if the value in this cell is equal to this then this should happen 
sheet one dot cells count dot two dot activate and if or and for and then next count so this is a loop we called it a counter loop counter loop what will happen a loop means in uh, in visual basic or any other pro programming language that these instructions will be repeated 15 times for we have set the loop to 15 times these instructions will be run 15 times and then this loop will be finished this is a counter loop means number of repetitions are fixed we have fixed the number of repetitions there is another loop that called conditional loop uh, that depends on a certain condition but we can use this loop as well for certain condition the next video uh, i am going to cover another example with both these loops so make sure you uh, you subscribe so that you can get notification from the youtube for that video you loops are very 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 important in every programming language so let's see how we can use this one so for this is a variable you can use uh, whatever variable you want to a b c d x y z whatever for, for start from 1 and go to 15 and at each time each cell means the very first time it will go to row 1 column 2 and check the username if it matches this username that's condition satisfied that will that cell with will become activate and we are going to finish the loop straight away instead of running the loop for 15 time but if not then this statement will run to the for loop again now the counts value is 2 again this will be tested if this is satisfied this will this will run otherwise it again come to this next count this will add another to this count counter this uh, which is running so this next time this counter is uh, will become three automatically you do not have to do anything else and uh, then again if this loop satisfies this statement will run and the, we are going to finish the loop instead of uh, taking the loop to the all the way up to the 15 times so let's see if we can go if this code works for us let's close uh, this spreadsheet and reopen the spreadsheet we can run uh, the code but we have set our code on the opening event so uh, we are going to test that thing okay so good evening james bond yes james bond is the store manager name and see we are at b15 that is james bond so excel is directly taking us to that particular location instead of uh, the manager or whoever the user is looking for uh, that cell for example this james bond is at number 12 and this one is someone else hulk okay now let's see if we can if the system is smart enough to change accordingly let's start excel again and then book one good morning good evening james bond yes and see now this time this cell is highlighted this the circle uh, the cell is on b12 where james bond is now if that is not very clear for example now let's some further uh, feature to enhance this code so what we want to do instead of highlighting we are going to highlight the entire row So again count is from this loop whatever the loop number is wherever for example the system finds uh, the store manager name at row number six 
the count will be 6 the row number will be 6 the column is fixed at 2 and uh, here we are fixing the column at 1 and we are going to use dot interior dot color for example vb yellow okay now if it finds if this statement satisfies these two statements will be performed and uh, the loop will be finished over there okay let's see save close close the spreadsheet and again open the spreadsheet let's see if the code highlight that particular row okay see instead of now highlighting that one cell the store is highlighted the whole row belongs to that store manager and we have done nothing it's just excel doing everything excel has picked up the name from here and then finding that name in that list of store managers and highlighting that row it's very very simple straightforward code see we have not used any of the buttons any of the text boxes any of the check boxes radio buttons or anything else we have just simply developed our code and uh, it has uh, worked for us we have not used any difficult feature at present we are going to use loops in more details in our next video using the same uh, using the same example the next time I will add some sales managers data and we will apply loops and then and we, we are going to learn some uh, data types as well so in every programming language remember data types loops and conditional statements these are basics you have to learn these you can learn you can learn the syntax of the language for every language C++ and Java or whatever but the programming the logic comes with the practice you cannot learn uh, the visual basic in one day or in two days or in one week or in one month this is just comes with the time slow and steady and you will become one day a UVBA expert so this was a very very simple code and uh, the next time I will be here with another very interesting code uh, in this code we learn uh, these two pro these properties and uh, and this range one uh, I will explain uh, what the range uh, property is let's highlight the range property is so a one this is just one cell and we can use the range as a6 for example and this is what uh, this is what we have done over here we have used range property and to get this value we used this formula and to get the next value we used this formula to get this kind of argument or uh, into the range function why we are you doing this because we are we have used or controlled this variable the row number because the row number is moving remember the row number is moving the column is fixed so we put the row number in the counter loop instead of the column number so we use the row number here and generate that specific cell using the counter loop next video I'm going to use um, some of the data types these are the data types and other two loops counter loop uh, for loop and uh, the do while loop which is a conditional loop that runs on uh, particular conditions I will touch briefly on if else as well so make sure you to subscribe and we will see an example how loops work uh, I'm not going to use any other um, function at present like buttons and radio buttons and so many different events over here uh, we, are, we will be there but 
uh, in a couple of videos before that we have to build uh, the foundation thanks for watching i hope you learned something uh, you can please comment uh, in my video if you want me to cover a particular um, feature in excel i will do that or if you want to add or if you want me to improve something thank you thanks for watching